you may have heard a lot of people are upset about the word Latino because they say that it's not inclusive enough because it's gendered and they want to call you Latinxes. We wanted to talk to some Latinxes to see what they thought about this uh, new language. <laughs> it's a real thing. Have you, have you, do you know? Honestly, I've never heard of that. Okay. You're not on Twitter? No. no. Good for you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Jason, describe these one word movie titles that are each about one specific adult. Okay. Yeah. Ready? Go. Um, uh, Aretha Franklin sang it. Uh, respect. Mm -hmm. um, she's the uh, Latinx singer. Uh, Selena. Mm -hmm. Latinx singer. Uh, I'm not kidding you though, they really are upset that the word Latino is gendered, so they want it to be changed to Latin X, so that the X represents both female and male. I don't understand. <laughs> Interesting. Good idea or, uh, or uh, just leave it the same? Yeah. Just leave it? Yeah. Just leave it. I want to move on after this and talk about and focus on Latinos and Hispanics, but just to for you to follow up on what we um, what you're we, so what not just, woke. You're just saying the new term is Latinx. Okay, Latinx. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even going to go there because of the whole pronoun thing and all this. I, I don't know what all these new terms are, but I am very open and accepting to that. So I welcome that Latinx. We're talking to Latinos, El Jefe, and. Um, you probably heard that a lot of some people are trying to change the word Latino to Latinx, the, the Latin X people. So we wanted to talk to some Latin X people to find out your thoughts on this. Uh, I've actually haven't heard of any of that. Oh, you haven't heard of no. any of that? Oh, you're lucky. Look, we got ha half the Mets are Latin X. Look, they're superheroes. The, half the Braves are Latin X. Half the, uh, the Astros are Latin X. I don't know. That's, that's all new age. Stuff Infinity. that I couldn't, yeah, exactly, that I couldn't <laughs> deal with. There's plenty more to come in this video, so stay tuned. But real quick, subscribe to the channel if you're new here and check back on a regular basis. They're, they're talking about uh, removing, changing Latino to Latinx to make it more inclusive uh, so that... I think, anything that, I think that anything that makes people feel more included is great. <laughs> White liberals who are trying to change the Spanish language to be more inclusive. Right. They want to call the Latin, Latin Latino people Latin Nexus. Right. What do you think? We should change it. <laughs> Every month I see a new poll reporting how much Latinos despise the woke term Latinx. It's about as popular with them as a reboot of Speedy Gonzalez. To be more inclusive, a lot of people are changing the word Latino to Latinx. We're just talking to some people about that. What do you think about that? <laughs> um, well, I'm white, so I'm not sure if I would have a good opinion on that. So you're not allowed to have an opinion on no, that? No, I am. I just... <laughs> what is your opinion on that? Um, that I don't really care. But you don't care? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I don't know if you heard, but a lot of people are trying to rename the word Latino to Latinx. You familiar with that? Stupid. Stupid? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Emmy award-winning puppeteer David Bizarro, a first-generation Latinx actor, is the man behind the puppet. And I love to celebrate when there is a first, a first yeah. Latinx performer performing with the Muppets. Have you heard that uh, there's a movement to change the word Latino to Latinx to be more inclusive so that it's not gendered language? No. No. I heard a little bit about that. Oh, you did? Um, I don't know why they're wasting their time doing that. <laughs> they sh there's more important things to do. Are you Latino like, yourself? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We're so you're, you'd, you'd be an authority on this uh, subject. Then. Yeah. I mean, I really don't care about the subject. It's just some people do care, but I mean, it's not going to bother well, what me. What kind of people way. do you think care about that kind of thing? Are trying to change your language? Um, I don't know. White people. <laughs> white Caucasian, liberals. Caucasian. Yeah. White, white liberals. liberals. White um, liberals. Don't lump us all together. We're not. They're they're, they're the ones that want to change logos and yeah. you know stuff Everything. like that like there's <laughs> more important Pancake. things to do <laughs> even the country's oldest latino civil rights group came out against it yet aoc keeps defending it saying gender is fluid language is fluid yes and latino voters are fluid <laughs> And more of them now than ever are identifying as republican. 
I also have a mini rant about this because there are some politicians, including Democratic politicians, that rail against the term Latinx. And they're like, this is so bad. This is so bad for the party, like blah, blah, blah. And like, it's almost as though it has not struck some of these folks that another person's identity is not about your reelection prospects. But I mean, it also happens with Filipinos, like Filipinex. Oh it's... my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Latinx, I've never met a Latinx. I've never met a BIPOC. Nobody talks that way at the barbershop, the nail salon, uh, the, 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 uh, the grocery store. Uh, the community center but that's how we talk now so that's weird oh it's more than weird it's psychotic so order your liberalism find a cure shirt from my online store at markdice.com or click the link in the description below to help spread the word like all of my designs it's available in a t-shirt long sleeve and a hoodie and a whole bunch of different colors as well so head on over to markdice.com or click the link in the description below and check it out <laughs> <laughs>